Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your MacBook's SSD. Today here we have the Transcend Jet Drive 855, which is actually a Transcend Jet Drive 850 SSD, but it comes with an enclosure that is plugged in through Thunderbolt. Let's get into it. So Firstly, let's do a quick unboxing of the Jet Drive 855. So you can see here, packaging is less fancy than the Jet Drive 820 that we reviewed nearly a year ago. So in this plastic cradle, we have the 855 itself. But the SSD is actually built inside already and we're just gonna leave that aside for now because we will need these two pieces of screwdrivers. This one's a T5, the red one's a T5 screwdriver and the black one is a P5 screwdriver. Another thing right here, I'm not sure if you want to use it, these are the pads to cover up the screw holes that are on the 855's enclosure itself. I'm not gonna use this, so let's just put it here. Alright, our test subject of the day is a MacBook Air 11 inch from mid 2013. So, here it is, it's still working. Of course, you can see all my desktop screenshots right here. So we're using a MacBook Air 11 inch from mid 2013 and once again Transcend Jet Drive 855 with the Jet Drive 850 NVMe SSD built inside already. So first things first, what we're gonna do is boot up into our Mac OS. I'm using Mac OS 10.14 Mojave and here's how you start to migrate your system. Firstly, take this thing with the Thunderbolt port, plug it in and you will see that the Mac OS will detect after a few seconds. As you can see here, it detects right away. So what you need to do now to start migrating is firstly, you need to open this utility and format the SSD to APFS. So I'm just going to show you some screenshots of how I did it. Once that's done, you have to download the utility called SuperDuper. It's free by the way, but you can pay if you want some more extra features. We're not going to touch that now. So once you've got SuperDuper installed, you just open it and copy everything from your internal Mac SSD to this jet drive. And once that's done, you have to go to the system preferences on your Mac OS, select the startup disk to the 855, and then you have to just test it if it boots or not. Because I realized that swapping SSDs back and forth is no fun, so just Try booting on the external enclosure first. The Jet Drive 855 runs through Thunderbolt and Thunderbolt is fast enough to boot without any lag. So once you boot it up and it's working, it's time to swap your SSDs. So here's what you're gonna do. The first thing before I upgrade is to shut it down. And let's just shut down for now. Now the MacBook Air 11 inch has shut down. So let's just close it, flip it around. And what we're gonna do now is to use a... What screw is this? Pantalo! We shall use the black screwdriver P5 and just take out all of the screws. By the way, Transcend doesn't give you cheap screwdriver. This part is rotating so you can just... Here's what you can do. Uh. Put it like this and you can spin it right away. A lot faster. Once you got all the screws out, so here's what you're gonna do. Lift it up from the back of the MacBook Air. And here you can see the whole thing comes off easily. So first things first, this black thing here is the SSD itself. I'm using the Jet Drive 820 that we reviewed nearly a year ago. But here's what I advise you to do right away. Unplug your battery. So you can do this rather easily with your fingernails or fingertips. You just have to take this out and here you go, the battery is disconnected. So how you unscrew the SSD now, you just take the red tip screwdriver, not red tip but yeah, you get the idea. And just take out this screw right here that's holding down the SSD. And before we take this SSD out, we need to dismantle this thing alongside too. So what we're gonna do here is just using the red screwdriver again, there are four screws, you just take it out, first one is out, 
Once you took out all the screws, what you can do is just take this out and you can see the SSD is right inside here. This is the Jet Drive 850. As you can see here, it's built into this enclosure already. So the same as this internal SSD by the way, what you're gonna do is use the red screwdriver once again. Unscrew this. Take out the screws and here we'll do the SSD swapping. So what you're gonna do is lift it up a bit, get your fingers on the both ends and just slightly wiggle and pull it up. Alright, we got the Jet Drive 850 out. Secondly, we're gonna do the same to the internal SSD inside the Mac. So again, lift it up a little, pull it on both sides and slowly pull it up. There you go. So, we'll take back the 850, plug it in. But, you have to push it quite hard and yep, until you can't see most of the golden side on this connector right here. That's when you know the connection is secure. So once you swap the SSD, you're gonna need to take back the original screw for the MacBook SSD. You will know this because the original SSD has a very short screw. So, uh, put this in, screw it back in, and done. Before you screw in everything back to the MacBook, I advise you to just cover back and what you're gonna do is hold it down for a while, don't let this come off and try starting it up for once because you need to know if it works before you screw up. And that is why you don't screw this back every time. And yep, press down the power connector, that's how you connect it back. Flip it back and we shall try again. Okay, so we've booted it into the brand new Transcend Jet Drive 850. Again, the 850 SSD is built into the enclosure and hence Transcend is calling it 855. Kind of confusing, but yeah. So we know that it works and we can go to this utility and have a check. As you can see here, TS240GJDM850. That's how we know that we are using the Jet Drive 850 and we can shut it down knowing that it works and we can close this for now once that's done we can screw everything back in all right so once we've screwed everything back in what can we do about this enclosure well remember that we still have the original ssd that's built into the macbook itself we can use the enclosure and you know, power up this thing and use it as an external SSD portable drive, whatever you call it. So what you're gonna do is the same way you install the SSD into the Mac, just align it properly and then lay it down, then push it in until you can't see most of the golden pins on the connector side. It's a bit tough so you might need to do this, push it in. You can hear a click, it's a bit violent but yeah, that's how it goes. And once again, you can open up your MacBook and once you plug it in, what you're gonna do is take the Thunderbolt connector, connect it to the MacBook once again and this time it should detect our old system, the old Mac OS on this SSD and yeah, there you go, it is detected and we can access everything right away. So what you're gonna do now is that you can convert your old internal Mac SSD to become your time machine backup or maybe just as an, you know, portable storage, speedy portable storage. And before we end this video, I'm gonna show you some benchmarks because if you're going to do this, it can become your external video scrubbing drive or maybe just your external storage to store all your large files, your media library or whatever. It works, it's speedy. So the internal StoreJet 850, we have a full review on that. You can check it out in the uh, description below. 
And I have to say, this thing is very fast. It's a PCIe Gen 3 X4. And that's pretty much how you upgrade your Mac SSD. It's very simple, straightforward. You just need a bit of patience. And uh, all I have to say is thanks for watching everyone and have a nice day. Bye.